Diana. Hundreds of protesters will gather this weekend in the French Pyrenees to demonstrate against plans for a new road. Critics say the road will pass through an area of outstanding beauty which contains the last remaining eight brown bears in Western Europe. Supporters of the project say it will provide a direct route between France and Spain and help the region's tourist industry. The Pyrenees, the mountains which form the border between France and Spain, are some of the most beautiful mountains in Europe. The Valle d'Asp is amongst the most untouched of all the Pyrenean valleys. Here, rural life goes on as it has done for centuries, but all that is about to change. Birdsong is giving way to bulldozers as plans for the widening of the road are put into effect. A nine-kilometer-long tunnel is being blasted into the mountainside for a six-lane motorway link between France and Spain. And whereas now only 200 trucks pass through this valley in a day, once the road and tunnel link is completed, that number will rise to about 1,500. Fears for the environmental consequences of the construction project have attracted this now familiar brand of protester to the valley from all over Europe. Eric Petitain is their unofficial leader. He's become well known throughout France, having been jailed seven times for his part in the protest. If we can't stop such a destructive road project in a beautiful place like this, then there's no hope of us being able to prevent the earth being covered in concrete, tar and traffic. And in 10, 20 or 50 years' time, we'll have a major ecological catastrophe. That catastrophe is an imminent threat to the last remaining eight bears in Western Europe. All of those live in the Valle d'Asp, and environmentalists say that if the road widening plan goes ahead, the bear population will be threatened with extinction. But some locals believe there are ways to develop the valley while protecting the environment. They welcome the road, which they say will bring more tourists. We want to develop the economy of this valley. We must open it up. Today, if an area wants to develop itself, it must have modern access routes. That's why the very steep section of road at the top of this valley must be modernized in line with the rest of Europe. Long-term residents are divided as to whether the modernization will improve their lives. The tunnel is going to destroy us all. I love the tunnel. I'm for it 100%. With the road going through the mountains, I feel it will give our animals some peace. If the new road bypasses a village, because we rely on the tourists, this community will die. Meanwhile, the defenders of the Valle d'Asp are getting ready for this weekend's sixth annual demonstration. Last year, 10,000 people attended the protests, which ended in clashes with the police and numerous arrests. At tomorrow's event, passions are expected to run just as high.